All right, can you guys hear me back there okay? All right. So, so I'm going to be speaking to you guys, but I'm also going to be speaking to them. Um, this, is a, this is a real big deal for me, and I know it is for a lot of you, and it's certainly a big deal for the kids who have been waiting several years. Um, many of them didn't shave before we started this, but they are now. So this helps how long this, is, uh, how long this has been going. So Zach, were you shaving before this park was built? Uh, no, actually, it was kind of a, it was kind of a tr like, uh, what would you call it? Not a tradition, but a, a keepsake. You know, I gotta, I can't shave until the skate park. I can finally ride it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you ride? I ride bikes. So I try to ride everything, but I'm only good at bikes. And I appreciate their patience and their hard work. Uh, some of the some of the kids that are up here, there's a lot of them, and I know I'm going to miss some names, but uh, Zach and Jeremy Holt worked from the, from day one on this this not just this project, but the the BMX track behind. So a little bit of history on this from from my perspective. Years ago, this whole area back here was a prune orchard, and this was a prune dry yard over here, and uh, the county acquired this property. The school acquired part of that. Uh, this was privately owned and back in the 80s when I was in the heavy equipment business and trucking business I actually cleared all that prune orchard out of there and then the school ended up acquiring all of it and building the, the fields that they have there. So while I was over there, the county acquired this property and started decided they, they would turn it into a park. Uh, Kim Kleinmeyer was the director and I wish he was here right now so I could make sure that, uh, that I thanked him personally but I, I, will, I will do that. He's put so much of his time and energy into this and and I actually I did uh, all the excavation in this park uh, when it was when it was first uh, first acquired by the county um, back in in the mid 80s so so it's it's been a you know big part for me uh, to, to watch the progression of this and how the communities use this then uh, a few of the kids had a BMX track out in the middle of nowhere out at uh, Springer's Ponds that became unavailable to them and so we started looking for other options and this was the option. The kids came down here, some of them that are here. Um, we, we used the dirt that, was, that we excavated from the wrestling room that we built. We hauled it down here and some of the kids here um, put this park in themselves. So Dylan, what was your part in all this? I skate and they were working on the dirt all the time and I just helped them with the dirt instead because I knew it would get this going eventually. And now how are you going to help out? Ride my skateboard. <laughs> we spent a few days out here. I showed them how to do chain link, and we learned learned how to do that. We put that fence up, and some of them are actually learned how to run a backhoe by tearing mine up. And uh, so we we've uh, we've had a good time. Tell me about the park, Chris. <laughs> Hello. Awesome. It's good for being how small it is. It really keeps everything flowing. You know, it's not like badly designed or anything. And I don't know, I think everybody's gonna have fun. What was the process like getting this together? A couple of meetings here and there, working on this park, the Springer's Trails, you know, getting all the kids involved, and you know, of course, with everybody, Zach and Jeremy and Dylan, Blake. I don't know, just had fun and look where it went. Rob Brown, definitely a big part of it. None of this happens with just us or with with the kids. The parents, Valerie, Danielle, Sean, uh, Molly. I mean, so many parents have been involved in this, and it's just been a it's been something. Katie, uh, as a parent, not just as a county official, but so many people have been involved in this, and and uh, it's it's necessary because the county really doesn't have a lot of resources. And to, to see something like this happen in this day and age when resources are so limited for government is just unbelievable. It's amazing. And I'm proud that, uh, that our board supported something like this back when we did. We may not be able to support it now um, given the financial situation that we're in, but we did and it's an investment. And Jeff Smith is here right now from, uh, from Clear Lake, uh, from, from our board of supervisors. And, and I just appreciate so much the support and work that we got from, uh, from the county board as well as uh, staff. Katie, Jeff Ryan, here, Kim Kleinmeyer, like I mentioned before, Brian Powers, um, and, and then uh, Lars uh, now as the Public Services Director. So, you know, that's, that's about all I have to say as far as it goes. I could go on and on and on about what this 
what this means to me personally, but I know it means a lot to these kids, and that that's really what's important, um, to be able to open this thing up. Now, with everything that's going on, um, you know, we, with the Clayton fire and, you know, the Valley fire last year, um, <clears throat> there was some talk about actually postponing this grand opening, and, and we all agreed that we needed something positive. Uh, the kids have waited a long time for this really been excited about this and I think this is just a great opportunity for for us to share something positive given everything that's going on in the county so with that I fall sometimes, I don't. So what's it like when you fall? It, it hurts, but I just get back up. How come? Because I don't want to look like a wuss. <laughs> Oh, I'm super excited. <laughs> I can stall this. So tell me, have you guys ever been to the hospital over this stuff? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? It's not that bad. Uh, two broken bones. I broke my wrist like three times. That's about all I've gone to the hospital for it though. How do, you, my wrist my how do your folks bone. like your sport? My mom's right there, so. My dad actually. Well enough. My dad tried to get me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs>